So um, welcome everyone and thanks for joining us this morning. Um, with business and supply chain resilience being a key focus for many companies today, this hour long session will cover how implementing di digitalization around invoicing can help address existing challenges to achieve operational efficiencies and cost savings. Um, the speakers today will be taking questions at the end. So please post uh, any questions you have at any time through the um, Q&A feature. Um, so feel free to ask at any time. You don't have to wait until the end, but they will take those questions then. So I'd like to introduce our three speakers today. Uh, firstly, Siraj from IMDA. He'll be talking about um, the e-invoicing initiative, um, followed by Volkmar from August, who will share how companies can implement e-invoicing using Invoice Now and SAP integration vendor portal, um, as well as Anna from Validus, who will present how companies could unlock working capital in their supply chains through fintech financing solutions. So uh, over to you, Siraj. Uh, thank you, XY. Um, it's my great pleasure to be here today. Uh, thank you to Validus and uh, XY uh, for inviting me here. Now, <clears throat> Can everybody see my presentation? Yeah, looks good. Yeah. Right, thank you so much, right? So today we live in uh, interesting times where we need to stay safe and yet you know, be healthy and productive. And fortunately for us, technology has given us opportunities to do exactly that. So a very good morning to all of you today. And um, thanks to, once again, to August and uh, Validus for you know, uh, giving me this opportunity to share about e invoicing. Now, <clears throat> e invoicing is something that is looked at very as something very important for our national economy, right? The nationwide e invoicing initiative was launched in 2019. And as Minister S. Isran has said, e invoicing is a key business function. To showcase, we uh, from the government itself has actually connected ourselves since January this year. And we have many, many business transactions that have been going across the e invoice networks where supplies to the government are now invoicing us through this network. And this saves a lot of effort from the supply side, as well as for our side. Because today, if you look at digitalization, what happens is that you tend to optimize processes within the business. So you look at your ERP, your CRM, your accounting systems, and you put in place digital tools and technologies to optimize them, to automate them, so on and so forth. But then what happens when you need to do business? When you need to do business, you need to transact across to other businesses. And that's where you know you take your nice digital data that's in your accounting or finance system and you print it out or you PDF it and you start chasing your customers for payment. So when it goes down to the other side, that print or PDF will still need somebody manually to handle it. They need to key it into the system and go through the approval process, so on and so forth. And all of this is quite time consuming and not very productive, okay, where you can be doing a lot more things. Now, <clears throat> this is where e-invoicing comes in because e-invoicing connects your business to your suppliers' systems directly without any human interaction. Now, when you look at connection, e-invoicing really is the tip of the iceberg. When you look at once you're connected, you can actually put many more things onto the same network. So when you connect yourself, you are now joining a network where many, many businesses are already connected and you can start transacting with them digitally. We launched the invoice and we started with invoices. So invoice is one of the business uh, documents that are exchanged between different businesses. Now in future, the same network is capable of doing more things such as purchase orders, delivery orders and others. In 2020, we linked up with the banks to link invoicing to payment because invoicing is nothing but request to pay. So when you send in an invoice, certain solutions that our banks have put it can actually flip that invoice to a payment directly without rekeying all the information that is in the invoice. And this is very important because when you have digital information, all your three-way matching, so on and so forth, can be easily done automatically. And this gives fairly high productivity gains. Now, just to give you a sense of all the things that's been happening over the last several months. So we launched um, in e-invoicing network in 2019. In 23rd September 2020, we launched a rebranding of the invoice network as Invoice Now. And as of today, you know, uh, since that day, uh, in September, we had about 25,000 businesses. Today, I'm happy to share that we are already crossing the 27,000 business mark. So growing very strongly. And 
AGD has, uh, which is the Accountant General, which is official um, department that also applies to the government invoice too, has issued an official statement that invoice now is a preferred way to invoice the government. SBF, which is the Singapore Business Federation, has signed a MOI with IMD to help businesses onboard invoice now. And we also have a team of people who are helping their businesses get on board invoice now through calls and digital ambassadors. Okay, we call them digital ambassadors who reach out to businesses and help them come on board the network. Now, so you can see there's a huge amount of activity going on right now. Now, let me kind of take you through a small uh, video that should give you a better picture of what um, invoice now is all about. Great. Business is going well, work is getting delivered, and you're already planning to expand. But you wouldn't get the cash flow you need without invoicing. So you spend hours manually preparing paper invoices only for your client to lose it or have it rejected because of mistakes which would cause delayed payments that will slow your business down. But with Invoice Now, you can now get paid faster. With it, you can send e-invoices directly to your clients via the nationwide e-invoicing network with existing solutions. Just activate Invoice Now on your Pebble Ready solution. Now, create your invoice. Select your client's Pebble ID. Key in your invoice details and you're good to go. Paperless, effortless, and seamless, your invoice will be able to reach all businesses on the entire network. And with Invoice Now standardized format, your clients will be able to process invoices and payments quicker too. That means you can enjoy smoother invoicing, faster payments, and a great way to save the environment. Join the network and grow your business today. Invoice Now, get paid faster. And that really was a very quick uh, summary of what Invoice Now is. So with Invoice Now, uh, every business that's connected to the business can actually send information directly from their systems to your client systems, all in a secure and safe way, right? All without any human interaction. So if you have an invoice, you are able to directly send this information across the network to your clients, finance or ERP system and get it populated in the accounts payable section, right? So this is a large difference because you don't need to chase after people to say, check whether they have received their invoices, whether they processed it, where is it, you know? So there's a lot of overhead involved in invoicing. Not only that, you know, and I've been talking to many people who say that, you know, Settling their monthly accounts is much more simpler. You can get it faster because all the data is there directly in your system. So these are some of the benefits of using invoice now, right? So what happens is that from your finance system, you can directly go into your client's finance system. And when they do the payment, information can be reconciled far more easily and you get payment faster as well, right? So a lot of information uh, that is, you know, done directly, more easily and simply, and that removes a lot of the overhead and hassle in the process. Okay. Now, why are we doing this? Today in Singapore, from our studies, we know that Singapore businesses send or receive almost about 440 million invoices every year. And again, from our study, we know that each invoice costs about $8 on average to handle. I mean, some of the activities that may involve is receiving it, picking it up, processing it correctly, double checking it, verifying that the data was entered in correctly, approving it, so on and so forth. Costs each business about $8 every month, every invoice. So if you are handling about 100 invoices a month, that's $800 straight. Whereas if you go into invoicing, we see that on average is almost um, one sixteenth of the cost. It, on average, we see invoices take about 50 cents compared to about $8 for manual invoice. And this is a huge saving opportunity for businesses to digitize their cross business transactions. And not only that, especially in, the, in this time, you know, going green is much, uh, and you know, having remote access is something uh, that is of great uh, benefit to the businesses concerned.
So some of the key benefits of invoice now is processes are much more streamlined. There are much lower errors because you're doing a digital to digital transmission. So a lot more fidelity in the data. Secondly, because the data is directly into the response finance or accounting system, your payment can come back quicker. And last but not least, the business can become a lot more greener because you're now completely digital and you are reducing the use of paper in, within the business. So what can you do? It's very simple. Turn on your connection, get connected and use invoice now with your customers and suppliers. Help your business partners join the network so that all of you can benefit from this new way of doing business. Now, when you join, you, have, you may have a question. What about my suppliers? You know, are they, will they be on a system that is invoice now ready? Now, I'm happy to share that we have worked with over 90 plus businesses, okay, and have enabled all these different systems to become connected to the network. It still needs a user to explicitly turn on invoice now, but it's just a configuration, it's just flicking a, a configuration on their own systems. So we have a lot of businesses like Pack Software, ABSS, uh, which owns MIOB software, Zero, Netiquette, Sesame, uh, A2000, so on and so forth, um, including partners like Invoice.sg, who are all um, able and willing to connect you to the network. Now, so with these, just connecting to the network becomes a very, very easy and simple manner. Now, not just that, both for you and your partners who connect to the network, by 31st December, we have an e-invoicing registration grant of $200 simply for connection, right? So when you connect to the network, you will get a digital ID called the PayPal ID that is based on your UEN number. So when you connect to the network, you will have this ID and because you're registered on the network, we would know and we would use um, Pay Now Corporate to pay you this $200 just showing how simple business can be. You know, you don't need to do any application. You don't need to simply register. We will know that you registered. We will take your UN number and pay to that UN number. So this is a very, very simple way of how simple things can become. No application is required for the grant. Because you're registered using a UN number, we will know and we will use the same UN number to make the payment. So this is for businesses that, are, that were incorporated by 25th March, 2020 and must register on the invoicing network on or before 31st December, 2020. So moving on, one more thing that is important to share is that there is another uh, bonus that was announced in the fortitude budget. So enterprises that are in the retail and food services sector are eligible to receive um, digital resilience bonus of up to $10,000 if they are incorporated before 26 May, 2020. They must be registered with on the invoicing network and have corporate pay now and must be using certain uh, sol digital solutions. Now, what are the solutions? There are a few different categories of solutions and you can find out which of these solutions are eligible by going to our website at www.imda.gov.sg slash DR bonus. There are three categories. Category one consists of uh, accounting HR and um, digital ordering and inventory for food and businesses and uh, inventory management for retail businesses. Category uh, two consists of online food delivery platforms okay, or e-procurement. And for retail, um, you have e-commerce platforms. And for category three is about data mining and analytic solutions. As long as businesses are, have purchased and are using these solutions, then they would qualify for the relevant category payout. Okay. So of course, underlying all of these is you must be on the invoicing network. You must also have corporate pay now. So these are the fundamentals. And then on top of them, you have the category one, two, or three solutions. Each of them are independent. So what happens is that when you're using these solutions, your suppliers will automatically say that these are the uh, customers that have, are, being using the, are using these solutions. And we will do the matching whether you have all the qualified elements necessary to receive the payout. Again, no application is necessary. We will work with the providers directly to match whether you have the relevant qualified solutions. A few thousand businesses have already started receiving the payouts, okay, which has started from August 2020 onwards. Now, lastly, how can you find out which of your suppliers are on the network? 
You may have that question. That's very easy. You can just go to the PayPal directory, which is paypal.directory.sg, which can be found online and look for any of your customers. You can look for them by name or by union number. And when you look for them, you will automatically come out and you will see the second column there showing something called the PayPal ID. And this is what every business which is registered on the network will be using to send and receive business documents. You can also see the date when they were registered on the network. But the important thing is the PayPal ID because that is the identity uh, which systems can use for system to system data transfer and receipt. So PayPal directory.sg is a local directory for foreign directories, foreign businesses. You can look at them at the global directory found at directory.paypal.eu, which is inclusive of the Singapore businesses. Now, I will show you a short video of one of our, uh, our partners who have come, or one of the more uh, well-known businesses in Singapore, which have just joined the network. So without further ado, let me... Uh, so 但是不改變會死,所以我們就不要痛苦一點,好做辭掉。Okay. And I have to say that was one of the more inspiring speeches, okay, by one of our early partners who joined the network. And actually, you know, uh, when we talked to Mrs. B, you know, Mrs. B doesn't it mean that you will sell less paper? Because when you go digital, uh, you know, her statement was very inspiring. It's not just I will sell less paper, I will also sell less pens and files and other associated things. But this is the way the world progresses. So likewise, I hope all of you can join the network and, you know, work hand in hand to bring all of us to a higher levels of efficiency and productivity. Thank you, one and all. I'll now hand you back to Marian. Thank you, Marian. Hi, Siraj. Uh, just quickly before you go, uh, there's a question from the uh, audience. So yep. um, sure. the question is, earlier invoices to government were submitted via vendor at Gov website. Is mm -hmm. that getting changed to invoice now? Um, okay, yes. Okay, so basically we have uh, this coexistence currently where you, you can choose to continue using vendors at Gov or you can choose to use invoice now. Both will work. We have now enabled vendors at Gov to take in invoices coming in through the Invoice Now network. Okay, and I also see one other question, which is um, whether Invoice Now works internationally. The answer is yes. Invoice Now is actually the technology underlying Invoice Now is something called the PayPal invoicing standard, which was actually originally created out of Europe. So today we have a couple of hundred thousand, a few hundred thousand businesses which are already on the network across different um, regions, primarily in Europe as well as to, um, earlier um, this year, Australia and New Zealand have also gone into e-invoicing. So that has also been enabled on the Australia and New Zealand uh, uh, sites, uh, territories. Okay, so um, that is to share about the international side. Data on the portal, uh, I'm not sure which portal is safe because right now when you talk about invoice now, you are using your own accounting or finance system. And I presume that will definitely be safe. Okay, because uh, that's your own accounting and data. Uh, you are currently using it. Okay, so we are not adding anything new. We are only adding a transmission connection. And that is um, distinctly, we have put in standards to make sure that the data in transmission has a level of safety and security. Okay, thanks Siraj. Uh, thanks for sharing uh, the initiative and how businesses could qualify for the digital resilience bonus. So spending 50 cents rather than $8 to pr uh, process every invoice, um, there's definitely huge cost savings and benefits for uh, businesses in Singapore to switch to invoicing. 
Um, it's great to also see that more than 27,000 businesses have now registered for Invoice Now. So, so really good initiative. Thanks for sharing again. Um, so moving on, uh, Volkma will now share how businesses can achieve uh, immediate digital conversion of vendor invoices. So over to you, Volkma, if you'd like to share a screen. Yeah, thank you, XY. Let me share my screen. Very good. Okay, yeah. Um, thank you, Siraj, for the introduction to Invoice Now. And I just start exactly where Siraj stopped. Um, our aim is to get Singapore fully digitized. That's what we are all working on. So um, this is where um, IMDA, uh, Validos, Agast, and many other partners um, try to encourage companies to join um, the Invoice Now network. For us, um, we are currently focused on how to digitize the entire process from purchase to payment. For this, August is offering two services to you, and I would like to introduce these yeah, to you now. So the one service that we are talking about is what we call Pebble Now. Um, we have specifically invited companies that are using SAP, so I hope in the audience there are many of you um, who can identify the screen on the right side. SAP is not known to look beautiful, but it's being used by many large corporates um, to process documents or to, to manage their whole enterprise. And um, what you see, this screen is a standard screen inside SAP where invoice data currently normally is entered manually by accountants. Now, thanks to Peppel or thanks to Invoice Now, invoice data can be received digital and thus can be interfaced to your SAP system completely automatically. So as if it was done magically, instead of entering invoice data manually, the data is automatically entered into your SAP system if you receive an invoice now invoice. The data will be 100% accurate, accurate in the sense of there will be no typo. The data will be entered as it was intended by, by your supplier who sent you the invoice in the first place. So this will save a lot of time and we were just um, looking into the cost aspect. However, currently the Pebble adoption rate in Singapore, though it is growing fast, is still in a stage where um, you can on average, expect only one fifth of your invoices to be sent in invoice now format. So you still will receive a huge number of invoices in PDF format and a huge volume of invoices, even in hard copy invoices. So while we are working on increasing the adoption rate for Peppel, and there are all these grants and, and helps, um, supports from IMDA, while we are on this way, we still see realistically there will be a time frame from probably one, two years until you can expect the majority of your vendor invoices to be sent in an electronic format, in invoice now format. So what to do? You wait for two years? No. We offer Pepper Now. So Pepper Now helps you to bridge the gap, to um, go fast forward in the Pebble adoption rate. Um, this Pebble Now service is a service that allows you to simply forward your PDF documents. So if you receive them as an attachment in an email or you um, scan your vendor invoices um, and the output is a PDF document, or even if you have lots of hard copies and you don't want to scan yourself, then we have a partner helping you to, to scan them and to uh, generate PDF documents. And once those PDF documents are forwarded to the Pepper Now service, we automatically convert these documents into invoice now or slash Pepper format and return it back into your ERP system, which for the most of you will be SAP. So what does this mean effectively? Effectively, it means that immediately, that is theoretically today, you can have the advantage of invoice now, electronic invoicing for all your vendor invoices, 
without having to change anything in your processes. The only thing you need to do is to forward those invoices to our Pepin Now service. And within less than five seconds per document, we return it back to your ERP system. So we are even much, much faster than your accountants uh, entering the data manually. The beauty of this Pepin Now service is there is no setup involved. There is no minimum volume. There is no binding period. No binding period is interesting because um, we all expect that more and more suppliers will provide their invoices in the PEPL format. However, what, um, what um, we, we do is that we close the gap, which is becoming smaller over time, but we close the gap. So maybe and if we start using PEPL now maybe in January, we still have to convert 80% of your invoices. And one year down the line, we only have to convert 50% of your invoices. So if you're in the process of considering to use any OCR technology, anything like this, don't do it. Just use our service and then um, have the conversation as long as you need it. At some point, you may not, might not need it anymore. There's a cost associated to it. This is 50 cents per invoice, but you see an asterisk. There is fine print, which is positive because there is a grant available to reduce these costs further. So there's a second offering. The second offering is Invoice Now, the portal. We have heard that today you can receive all your vendor invoices in a digital format. And with Pepper Now, today is really today and means all of your invoices. However, there are lots of other business documents that you exchange with your suppliers. And those documents are not yet completely supported in the Invoice Now network, but they are supported in the Invoice Now portal. The Invoice Now portal allows you to map the entire process from RFQ, so from the moment your procurement department defines a requirement, all the way until you do payments, can be digitized with the help of the Invoice Now portal. So the Invoice Now portal in the first place mirrors information that is already existing in your SAP, or I should say more generic in your ERP system. So um, when um, you create in your SAP system an RFQ, when you create a purchase order, when you do a good receive posting, when you in post an invoice, all this information is automatically updated to the Invoice Now portal, meaning you in your environment do not change any process, but your suppliers will always know what is happening. They will receive their RFQ in the portal. They will receive their purchase order in the portal. They will see when you do a good receive posting. And likewise, they can reciprocate from the portal in digital format. So when you send an RFQ and it's duplicated into our Invoice Now portal, the supplier can reply with this offer directly from the portal in a format that immediately interfaces to your SAP system so that you can see the collection um, of proposals there as SAP has intended it. Likewise, um, when you receive deliveries, the delivery order can be created in the portal. When um, a goods received is been done, the supplier can flip the purchase order basis, the goods received quantity into an invoice. And then whenever you post an invoice, the invoice status is updated to the portal. So the immediate advantage for the supplier is he knows the status of all these documents without having to call you, right? So for the supplier, it brings the supplier in control. Everything is transparent. For your side, you have um, no need to reply on uh, requ um, requests from your supplier side because they see all the data in the portal. So um, from the SAP system, we receive the data as it is created today. So there's no change in your SAP system. From the portal's perspective, we provide what we call perfect data. So when we allow the vendor to create let's say a delivery order in the portal, it will be a perfect delivery order because it will be completely based on your purchase order. If we allow the vendor to create an invoice in the portal, it will be a perfect invoice because the portal 
um, Portal's invoice will consider all the master data or even the PO data and GR data as it is in your SAP system. So we make it simple on both sides and the entire process is digitized. So the entire communication um, allows us to integrate a new feature which is currently not existing because we do not have the digital data available. But thanks to the portal and thanks to Invoice Now, we are now able to embed a discount dynamic discounting feature into the interaction between uh, the supplier and you. And um, this, this dynamic discounting feature is actually addressing the fact that um, when you finalize a business transaction all the way until an invoice is raised and the invoice is posted, then your supplier normally um, has the right to receive the payment for services. However, because of agreed payment terms and because of the fact that he is offering you what we would call a trade credit, you will pay only delayed. So depending on your payment terms, 30 or up to 120 days after you um, posted the invoice or after you received the goods. Now, from an accounting perspective, the moment you do a goods receive posting in your warehouse or the moment that you post an invoice, you actually acknowledge the invoice and you acknowledge towards the supplier that you owe him the money. And here is where now our embedded finance model comes to play. So in case a purchase order for a specific purchase order line, there's a goods received done. Or in case for an invoice, you have done the posting in your ERP system, the portal will automatically identify this as an acknowledgement of the invoice. You do not need to do anything else. It's just doing the goods received as you do it today or posting an invoice like you do it today. And without any other activity on your side, the portal sees that this is an invoice acknowledgement. And this invoice acknowledgement leads to the fact that your suppliers will see in the portal an immediate offer to request early payment or as it is called dynamic discounting. So if your supplier accepts this offer, this would technically lead to an approval workflow on the buyer side and an approval workflow on the factor side, in this case on Valido side, which would eventually then lead to a payment. However, thanks to our technology, the acceptance of the dynamic discounting request will happen in real time and thus the payment can be done immediately in Singapore, theoretically on the same day, latest the next day. So what we envision is that your supplier will see in his portal application, which he can access through mobile devices or from the desktop, and he will see what are the expected receivables in this period. So here the supplier selected the months. He can see uh, what are the payables. This looks like this is just enough. But then, of course, we have to consider rent and salary payments. Maybe this is the moment where the supplier identifies a cash flow gap. And in order to counteract this cash flow gap, he can now click to what we call cash now. And these are the 4,500 Singapore dollars in this example that he can request immediately because this is a pre-approved invoice due to the fact that his customers, this supplier's customers, have already either done a goods received posting or posted an invoice. So this portal in um, overall generates a, a transparency to a supplier that he never had. He can actually see what has happened to his invoice. Has it been received? Um, has it been acknowledged? Has it been paid? Or is it going to be paid anytime soon? Um, the supplier will get active reminders to create invoices. For example, is the consignment stock um, is being consumed. And all invoices being created from the portal will be what we call perfect invoices, like your invoice now invoices, right? So all the data will be correct. From supplier's point of view, there is no more money chasing necessary, or the opposite, he can receive uh, his payments immediately. From 
a buyer's point of view, for the buyer, it reduces manual efforts dramatically, significantly. Not only that you do not have to enter invoice data anymore, you do not have to answer any of your suppliers' calls. Well, that's wrong. You have to still, please, please continue answering your suppliers' calls. But what I wanted to say is it will be much less calls in your accounts payable department. And you will always work with perfect digital data that you do not need to enter manually anymore. So how can this be implemented? The beautiful news is it's something that can be done very, very quickly. Um, first of all, you need to sign up for Invoice Now. This is for free. You can sign up with various access points in Singapore. Um, we would like you to sign up with eInvoice.sg. There we know that signing up is completely free of costs. Then, in order to benefit from both these services that I offered, if you have an SAP environment that is um, from Peppel Now, that's the immediate conversion of PDF invoices into Pebble format. And if you want to use make use of the portal features that I described just now, then you need to install the SAP certified next interface for SAP, which is free for you if you consider to do this now. And this, you will see the explanation for the asterisk um, on the next slide. So then you can convert all your vendor invoices. And now you see the price has dropped to 25 cents per invoice. Earlier, it was 55, 50 cents per invoice. I will explain how in the next slide. And um, you uh, would then connect to the Invoice Now portal. This is then possible once you have the interface installed. And for the interface inter Invoice Now portal, we do not charge um, um, anything more but $1.50 per vendor per month if they are actively on the portal. So we are really checking, validating how many of your vendors are using the portal. You would only pay for them. So if you have a, a vendor uh, database of 5,000 vendors, but only 300 are actually using the portal, then only for 300 vendors you will have to pay a monthly subscription fee. And then you can allow a dynamic discounting, which might lead to flat discounts on all your spendings, which could actually turn your accounts payable department from a cost center to a profit center. So bottom line is with Invoice Now, you can digitize your entire accounts payable and procure to pay process. It reduces your work and you actually can earn money, um, reduce your costs. And for your suppliers, they can get their money immediately, which again will strengthen your uh, their working capital and will keep your supply chain healthy. So here's in the slide, everything that I would like to add to let you know, but I'm limited in time, so I have to come to an end. No humans in the loop, everything is completely digital. Uh, we are compliant to all privacy laws. And this portal happily coexists to any other portal that you might already use, like Arriva, Cooper, or Sesame. So what's the timeline? If you apply for this before December 5th, then all the reduced values become true. Instead of 50 cents per invoice, you only pay 25 cents per invoice for people now. Instead of $3 per active vendor, you only pay $1.50 per vendor. And the interface will be sponsored as well, if you apply for this before December 5th, we could then go live as of January 4th or anytime later, whenever it suits you. Okay, this was a very quick wrap up. If you have any other questions, we are happy to talk to you. But now I have to give the room to um, Anan because he needs room to share his information. Thank you very much. Thanks, Volkmar. Thanks for sharing how the Invoice Now portal can digitize the entire procurement process and how it enables uh, cash flow management for suppliers for immediate benefits. And it's also really good to know that that fully automated process um, allows buyers to uh, potentially obtain flat discount on supplier invoices. So thanks for sharing that. Um, now we'll uh, move on to Anand from Balladus. He's He'll be sharing with us um, more about how FinTech can play a part in enabling supply chain financing um, with the digitalization of invoices. Over to you, Anand. 
Thank you, XY. Thank you, Volkmar and Siraj. It's been a pleasure to actually be on the stage with all of you. Uh, thank you so much again, uh, and especially IMDA for uh, providing us the stage so that we could reach out to um, corporates along with Volkmar and Agast uh, to showcase uh, how could a combination of validus along with uh, Agast and IMDA uh, bring a solution to supply chain financing and assist uh, corporates like yourselves uh, to enable uh, faster payments to your vendors, uh, to enable uh, better cash flow management for the corporates themselves. Uh, I understand we have limited time, so I'll try and restrict my discussion to the more relevant pieces um, for this for this webinar um, so as 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 we as some of us would be aware validus is a five year old company we are incorporated in singapore but we have a presence in four countries in asean which is indonesia vietnam thailand and singapore we are registered by the monetary authority of singapore and indonesia ujeka we are backed by highly reputed VCs and partners. A quick look at our timeline. We started sometime in 2015, in the mid of July 2015. Over the last five years, we've built up a very steady base with a very uh, technologically advanced platform, a strong credit algo, a strong fraud algo, which uh, has been uh, augmented by experts from the different banking and uh, technology industry to come together. And we've managed to craft partnerships over the last five years with large corporates like yourselves, with Monetary Authority of Singapore, as well as large banks and financial institutions to enable supply chain financing to uh, the SMEs within Singapore, as well as in Indonesia and Vietnam. Our presence in Indonesia and Vietnam started in 2019 and Thailand, we are about to go live in 2020. Moving forward, uh, as you see on the left side, uh, we do have very strong equity investors of the likes of Vertex Ventures from Temasek, the Theodor Rekmat and family in Indonesia, Vina Capital from Vietnam and Siam Simen Group in Thailand. What we do very differently is we have a partnership-led strategy where we partner with corporates like yourselves. And over the last five years, we've managed to build numerous partnerships across our network with not only private corporates, but even government-linked corporates and blue chip companies. What we essentially do as part of our partnership program is we provide pre-approved supply chain financing to all your vendors and contractors. When we say pre-approved, it means only KYC and no credit assessment. In Singapore, a large part of the problem happens to be the SMEs do not have very good financial statements and audited books of accounts. A pre-approved program really helps the SMEs to get easy financing within a 48-hour turnaround time. So the first question which comes is, how does Validus provide a pre-approved financing? So along with our data technology and marketing teams, Validus has created an internal technology solution. We have our internal fraud algos and credit algos, which help us to take credit decisions and provide pre-approved financing and give approval decisions within 48 hours. So that's been a key differentiator from what Validus does as compared to the street. To give in terms uh, some sense in terms of our depth, we engage with more than 20,000 SMEs on a monthly basis in Singapore alone. If we add this to the region, the number is much larger. Our first product when we do a partnership is to start with invoice financing, and that follows with purchase order and working capital loan as cross-sell products. These are pre-shipment products, which are typically after we've seen a couple of cycles of invoice financing and some payment track record between the partner, as in the anchor and the SME. We've also managed to forge partnerships with large banks, GBIS, Zero, Prudential, so on and so forth. Moving forward, just a quick look at the numbers. While this numbers may not be real time, but we've done close to $600 million in disbursals now with SMEs in the markets which we operate. A large part of it sits with Singapore being our oldest geography. The key thing to note on this slide is our approval timeline is 48 hours, which from a traditional lender perspective is typically four to six weeks. 
we've disbursed more than 18,000 facilities. And another key point to note is 90% of the borrowers who come to Validus end up staying with us. So a very high retention rate when it comes to SMEs, which shows the confidence they have in Validus and the customer service which the SMEs get once they get on board our platform. This is a slide which, which is the bottom line of why a supply chain financing is required and why do the vendors and contractors who work for your corporates need financing. So they need financing for operational expenses and supplies, maintaining short-term cash flows to pay workers on time, purchase of upgrade of equipments, upgrade and maintain their processes and services, and even to take larger projects. Now, one of the things we've observed in Singapore is payments happen to be in progress basis. So a corporate like yours could be receiving a payment from a government body or from your client, which may come in five months, but you need to make your payment to your vendors and contractors in three months. So what we call it in the supply chain language, there is a mismatch in your receivables and your payables. So the solution which, which Validus brings in is without having any recourse on the anchor, which is the corporate yourself, without having the corporate to take any additional uh, leverage on your own balance sheet, we can provide financing to your SMEs and you end up paying Validus whenever the payment term you get your receivables from your client. So we turn up as a bridge financing between the anchor and the uh, and the contractor of the anchor. Moving forward, the key challenges with SMEs face today, if they need to go for standard traditional methods, they are quite lengthy, a large amount of paperwork, where the SMEs are single, uh, single man shop or two, two directors, if they need to be completely involved in the long lengthy procedure, uh, cumbersome paperwork, it takes away their focus from their core business. Validus comes in with a completely online process and a quick turnaround time to defeat this challenge. The second, traditional ways of lending require collateral and it's not unsecured. Uh, the challenge with SMEs in a market like Singapore, a lot of them are service oriented. There is no collateral to place. Validus provides a completely unsecured lending proposal to the SMEs. And this is done on the basis of relying on surrogate data and alternate data to come up with a pre-approved program for these SMEs. Our product suite today is very sophisticated, catered to the needs of the SMEs. So we don't have an elimination criteria in terms of having higher amounts or longer ticket sizes. We know SMEs need financing only when they need it. So, and cost of ideal capital is very high. Unlike traditional lenders where the loan ticket sizes have to be higher or the tenors have to be longer, in the case of Validis, they are customized to the needs of the SME. We are a bank plus shop, which means we are marginally higher than banks, but we are not money lenders with very high interest charges. What we only charge is interest rates and disbursement fees. And there are no hidden charges of the likes of a lock-in period or a minimum quarterly fee or a facility fee or a loan uh, insurance scheme fees and so on and so forth. So it's technically a virtual credit card which is, which is given to you, which you pay as per use. Moving forward, a very critical slide for the corporates on the, on the webinar today. The first differentiator which Validus brings in is we have no legal liability on the corporate if the buyer or the corporate wishes to set off claims. So our loan agreement is restricted only between the contractor and Validus with no legal liability of the corporate. The only arrangement between the corporate and Validus is to redirect payments to Validus instead of making the payment to the corporate as and when the payment is due. That's a very big differentiator, which absolves corporate of any legal liability in the event of set-offs or in the event of any credit notes. Second, we do not require you to change your existing processes. We try and adapt to processes which are at the corporate anchor. We do not have any kind of uh, technology play to start with. As a pilot, we are happy to work manually with the corporates. We do not require a change in batch processes. What it also helps is a reduced follow-up of the vendors with the accounts payable team. 
because you've brought in validus as a partner who can provide either advances or an early payment of the invoices the contractors stop reaching out to your accounts payable or your finance team for an update on their invoice payment status what we also provide is a payment reconciliation service to the partners over the years we have seen a relationship between a corporate and validus along with benefiting the smes for supply chain financing has helped strengthen relationships between the anchor and the supplier it helps to mitigate risk in terms of better quality of service because the sme owner is now focused on completing the job than his focus being on finding sources of funding we've also seen over the years because of improved performance the vendors are able to reduce their quotes to the anchors or the anchors on the other hand can ask for renegotiation of contracts because it's because of the anchor that the vendor has managed to secure cheap funding it manages regulatory risk because especially in service oriented industries it's very critical that the levies and the salaries are paid on time for the foreign workers with validus coming in as a partner there is no added uh, leverage to the treasury of the corporate and validus pays the advance to the contractors so that they can make the levy and payments and the salaries on time and last but not the least is providing some kind of a referral fee to the anchor now the referral fee is more in terms of a bottom line addition to revenue or they are also to bring down procurement costs because to enable the entire process the corporate may need to assign 120th or a small portion of a time of an individual who would work with excuse me with validus to get the arrangement moving with the smes and this would really help in a very big way the small percentage of the disbursal fee which validus earns we share it with the anchor to cover such costs so that's a key slide which covers why a corporate or an anchor should consider a supply chain financing program with a combination of validus um, agast along with support from imda it's a completely win win proposition we've already gone through it wherein the corporate anchor has a number of tangible and intangible benefits and for the vendor or the supplier the benefits are quite obvious in nature in terms of which are the companies which qualify for the anchor to be an anchor we've just listed down certain parameters the key parameter here is that the anchor needs to have local supply chain in singapore as per the law we are only allowed to lend to smes who are incorporated and registered in singapore so if a corporate has a supply chain in singapore and they have to make monthly payments to their vendors and suppliers who are based in singapore we would be happy to come in along with our partners to provide a supply chain financing program to your ecosystem one of the key things as well in addition to the metrics which you see on the slide is the success of the program depends on identifying an internal champion within the corporate whose kpis are linked to the success of the program in every anchor which we have worked with we have managed to identify a single point of contact or an spoc as we call it whose kpis are linked to ensure that this program takes off and the vendors and contractors are provided financing on their invoices within 48 hours there are few sectors and industries which we consider as exempt which are oil and gas commodities trading and precious metals for the obvious reasons so in terms of products we provide three products invoice financing as a starting product wherein we give up to 70 to 80% of the value of the invoice as the loan to the to the vendor our tenure ranges from 1 to 5 months interest rates start from 0.8% per month with a very small disbursal fee which is charged to the vendor on the loan value and not at, at the invoice value as charged by the competition we agree upon the program with the anchor and we do not negotiate any interest rates or the economic parameters of the transaction with the vendors that's the beauty of program based financing it's a cookie cutter standard offering which the vendor has agreed with validus the same rates same tenors same loan to value ratio is applied for every vendor when we defeat the purpose of negotiation with every sme our turnaround time increases in terms of becoming faster for the sme 
And this is really liked by the SMEs as well, because the interest rates which are provided to the SME because of the partnership with the anchor is fairly competitive, which this SME of this credit profile would find it very difficult to get in the market. The only thing we need in return is to have an NIP process, which we call a notice of irrevocable payment instructions, wherein whenever the corporate needs to make the payment, the payment would come to Validis and not to the SME if the SME has chosen to be part of the program. We also provide purchase order and working capital loans as cross-sell products. For purchase order, we can provide up to 60% of the value of the purchase order. And for working capital, we provide a financing amount of up to $250,000. The process is fairly simple. Uh, how does this program work? SME, the way he's submitting an invoice, he submits an invoice even today. If the SME chooses to take financing against the invoice, they would come to Validus with the same invoice. Validus has a mechanism built along with our partners like August, where Validus can check whether the invoice is uh, approved and it's a genuine invoice. Once we get that confirmation, Validus makes the payment to the SME. And at the time the corporate needs to make the payment, the payment would come back to Validus directly from the corporate. When Validus receives the payments from the corporate, we would do a quick reconciliation, deduct the amount which we have already given to the uh, SME or the contractor as advance, deduct the interest charges and transfer the balance to the SME on the same day. This is just an example of a cleaning services company in Singapore, which started very small, uh, but with support from Validus, we provided them advances, we provided them financing on their invoices, Today, the company does more than a million dollars in monthly invoice financing with Validus and happens to be a leading cleaning services player in Singapore. A quick look and probably the last slide of my presentation, which shows the transparency in the pricing of Validus. As we said, we agree upon the interest rate and disbursement fees with the corporate, but that's the only charges which we have for the contractor. As against the factoring companies or the market, which has a number of other charges which are listed on this slide. Factoring companies may have a lock-in period. They charge processing fees or disbursement fees on the invoice value. Validus charges it on the loan value. They have a registration fee, which is free for the customers who come to Validus. They have a minimum service fee, an annual facility review fee, a loan insurance scheme fee, and so on and so forth. And there are a number of other hidden charges. When an SME or a corporate anchor brings in Validus as a preferred partner. The only charges which we have are interest rates and disbursement. There is no third charge which ever gets levied on the SME in the period they are with Validus along with the partner. That's largely which, which I wanted to cover. I'll hand it back to XY for any closing comments or any questions which require to be answered. Thank you. So thanks again uh, for sharing how businesses could leverage invoice digitalization and easily partner with validators to unlock working capital and supply chains. There's a lot of um, benefits um, to obviously uh, move into e-invoicing. And with that, um, it really does make it a lot easier for businesses uh, across in the supply chain to obtain um, additional working capital. Um, so we'll move on to Q&A right now. Um, there's two questions uh, from the audience. Um, uh, this is uh, related to the portal, so I think um, Volkma would be able to answer them better. Um, so the first question, uh, does the portal only work with SAP? And uh, how does the portal prevent fraud? Uh, two different questions. Uh, then, yeah, easy to answer. So no, the portal is uh, ERP system agnostic, technically. Um, we can integrate to any ERP system. The first one that we uh, looked into to integrate um, is SAP. This is just because of our background. We are very familiar with the SAP ecosystem. Um, and because the fact that most transactions are done in the SAP ecosystem. But um, absolutely, the portal is completely ERP system agnostic and any ERP system system can be connected. Then about um, a second question was data security, right? Was it? Yeah, so the second question is how does the portal um, prevent fraud and is the data on it safe? Yes, yes, yes. So fraud, um, so the one of aspects of fraud is that the invoice is not genuine, that the invoice is created by the one who receives the, the 
the funding or who receives the um, the invoice uh, discounting process. So um, with our portal, we do not um, ask the supplier to provide any documentation. The documentation comes completely from the buyer side, so from the ERP system of the corporate buyer. Hence, um, we completely 100% exclude any fraud risk uh, related to the underlying documentation of the transaction. Okay, that's good to know. Thanks for that. Um, here's a question for Anand. Uh, how is Validus financing different for, from banks? I think you covered um, a quick uh, summary of um, how the fees are different. Um, yeah. Any um, other highlights you would like to share? Uh, so thanks, XY, for this. I, I thought I covered a part of it within the presentation, but there are three, four points in summary. One, uh, banks when they give an unsecured uh, facility the paperwork and the turnaround time is very long for validus we do not have uh, secured facilities all our facilities are unsecured and uh, our turnaround time is 48 hours uh, for banks they would look at longer tenors and larger ticket sizes for validus there is no such elimination criteria and uh, we cater to shorter ticket sizes and shorter tenors and the beauty, the key point about Validus is speed. A typical turnaround time for a bank is four to six weeks. When it's for Validus, it happens to be 48 hours. Okay, thanks for that. Uh, I guess in the interest of time, we've all run by a little bit. Um, that's all the questions we've got today. Um, so I'd just like to thank uh, each of the speakers for sharing today. Uh, as Siraj from IMD mentioned earlier, it's an opportune time to sign up for invoicing right now with grants and subsidies available. Um, and to learn how your business could take advantage of the grants available, um, how you could apply before 5th of December um, and save um, additional cost savings and to implement invoice digitalization, um, I recommend that you reach out to Vokma from August directly. Um, and if you have any questions around enabling supply chain financing, whether you're a business with a supply chain that has got very um, that's got a number of SME suppliers that you work with, or if you're SME um, business yourself um, rendering services to other businesses, uh, please get in touch with Anam from Validus directly as well. Uh, we'll also be um, posting this webinar uh, online. So we will share that uh, after this and drop everyone an email with at the access to. Um, so thanks for joining us again. Have a lovely day ahead. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Okay, bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.